Hello. Welcome to the 2018 Farm Bill webinar presented by the National Cotton Council. I am Jody Campici, Vice President of Economics and Policy Analysis. The purpose of this webinar is to provide information on the Title I seed cotton provisions in the 2018 Farm Bill. The content discussed in the webinar is our interpretation of the 2018 Farm Bill provisions. The topics covered during the webinar will include key differences in Title I programs in the 2014 versus the 2018 Farm Bill, basics of the ARC County and PLC programs, calculation of the seed cotton marketing your average price, the provisions of the seed cotton PLC program and example calculations, the provisions of the seed cotton ARC County program and example calculations, base acres, details of the 2020 payment yield update, marketing loan provisions, payment limits and eligibility, economic adjustment assistance for textile mills, ARC and PLC election and enrollment, stacks and SCO eligibility, important dates for ARC and PLC, the yield update, disaster assistance and MFP. Now I'll discuss some of the key differences in Title I commodity programs in the 2014 and 2018 Farm Bills. Under the 2018 Farm Bill, Farms planted entirely to grass or pasture, including crop land that was idle or fallow, from 2009 to 2017 are no longer eligible for ARC and PLC payments. If one acre of one covered commodity was planted in any year between 2009 to 2017, the farm will remain eligible for ARC and PLC payments. Under the 2014 Farm Bill, producers made a one-time ARC or PLC election by crop and by farm that remained in effect for the 2014 to 2018 crop years for commodities other than seed cotton. For seed cotton, producers made an ARC PLC election effective for the 2018 crop year. The ARC PLC provisions in the 2018 Farm Bill allow producers to make an ARC PLC election by crop and by farm for the 2019, 20, and 2021 crop years. Starting with the 2020, 22 crop year, producers will make an annual ARC PLC election. Several changes were made to the ARC County program in the 2018 Farm Bill. Payment rates will now be based on the county where each farm is physically located as compared to the FSA administrative county for each farm in the 2014 Farm Bill. For ARC County data sources, FSA will use RMA data when available, followed by NAS data, and then data from state committee sources. The criteria for calculating separate ARC County irrigated and non-irrigated yields was revised in the 2018 Farm Bill. The county will qualify if RMA irrigated and non-irrigated yield data is available in three of the five years between 2013 and 2017, or using FSA data from 2013 to 2017, at least 10% of the acreage was irrigated and 10% was non-irrigated, and an average of 5,000 acres was planted in every year from 2013 to 2017. Continuing with the key differences in Title I Farm Bill provisions, the 2018 Farm Bill also includes several changes to the PLC program. Under the 2014 Farm Bill, USDA established a statutory reference price for each commodity, which is 36.7 cents for seed cotton. The provisions of the 2018 Farm Bill include an escalator provision that could potentially increase the effective reference price to as much as 115% of the statutory reference price based on 85% of the five-year Olympic average of the national average marketing year price. For seed cotton, the effective reference price is expected to be 36.7 cents. The 2018 Farm Bill provisions allow owners and operators to update PLC payment yields starting with the 2020-21 crop year. The yield update is based on 2013 to 2017 data. Now we'll discuss the basics of the ARC County program. The ARC County program provides revenue loss coverage at the county level. Payments are issued when actual county revenue is less than the ARC County guarantee. The ARC County guarantee is equal to 86% of the previous five-year Olympic national marketing year average price multiplied by the five-year Olympic average county yield. The ARC County payment is equal to 85% of the farm's base acres times the difference between the ARC County guarantee and the actual county revenue. The maximum payment is equal to 10% of the ARC County guarantee. The PLC program provides price loss coverage based on the national marketing year average price and individual payment yields. 
PLC payments are issued when the effective price is less than the effective reference price. The effective price is equal to the higher of the national marketing average price or the national average loan rate. The effective reference price will only be higher than the statutory reference price following several years of much higher prices. Given current price projections, the effective reference price for seed cotton is expected to equal the statutory reference price. The payment rate is equal to the effective reference price minus the effective price times the payment yield. The PLC payment is equal to the payment rate times base acres times 85%. The maximum payment rate is equal to the effective reference price minus the price floor for seed cotton or the loan rate for other covered commodities. The seed cotton provisions effective for the 2018 crop year remain unchanged in the 2018 Farm Bill. Seed cotton is the Title I program for upland cotton, providing income protection for both cotton seed and cotton lint. Under the 2018 Farm Bill, seed cotton is a covered commodity eligible for PLC and ARC for the 2019 through 2023 crop years. The seed cotton reference price is 36.7 cents per pound. The seed cotton price floor for the purposes of PLC calculations is 25 cents per pound. Now we'll discuss the calculation of the seed cotton marketing your average price. The seed cotton price is a weighted national average of the upland cotton lint price and the cotton seed price. The weights are based on pounds of production of upland cotton lint and total cotton seed. The NAS National Marketing Your Average Price is calculated using monthly data for prices paid to farmers obtained by a survey of cotton buyers. USDA publishes monthly estimates throughout the marketing year. The monthly Marketing Your Average Price is weighted by the average number of bales marketed. The marketing year for cotton is August 1st through July 31st. The months November through February carry the largest weights in the annual average. The NAS Cotton Ginning Survey Program collects data used to determine monthly cotton seed prices. All active gins for a given crop season from the 17 cotton producing states are included in the survey. So now I'll walk through the calculation of the lint and cotton seed weights used to determine the seed cotton marketing your average price. To calculate the lint weight, U.S. upland lint production is divided by total lint and cotton seed production for the marketing year. To calculate the cottonseed weight, U.S. cottonseed production is divided by total lint and cottonseed production. For the 2018-19 crop year, the estimated lint weight is .4281 and the estimated cottonseed weight is .5719. For the 2019-20 crop year, the estimated weights using the September 2019 WASD projections are .4284 for lint and .5716 for cottonseed. The lint and cottonseed weights calculated on the previous slide are multiplied by the upland lint price and cottonseed price to determine the seed cotton national marketing or average price. For the 2018-19 crop year, the current seed cotton price estimate is 34.53 cents per pound. For the 2019-20 crop year, the estimated seed cotton marketing or average price based on the September 2019 WASD projections is 29.33 cents per pound. For the 2019-20 crop year, the latest USDA estimate for the upland lint price is $0.58 cents per pound, and the cottonseed price is $157 per ton. A 2019-20 seed cotton national marketing your average price matrix is available on the NCC website. The price matrix shows the seed cotton price for various lint and cottonseed price combinations. The matrix shown here is a condensed version of the matrix available online. I'll now discuss the details of the seed cotton PLC payment calculation. The PLC payment is made when the effective reference price exceeds the higher of the marketing your average price in the price floor. If the seed cotton marketing your average price is greater than 36.7 cents per pound, the seed cotton PLC payment rate is equal to zero. For the 2018-19 marketing year, the seed cotton PLC payment rate is estimated to be 2.17 cents per pound. The seed cotton PLC payment rate is applied to 85% of the farm's decoupled seed cotton base. The seed cotton PLC payment is equal to the payment rate times the farm payment yield times 85%. The seed cotton PLC payment yield is equal to 2.4 
times the upland cotton lint yield. So for example, if the lint yield is 600 pounds per acre, the seed cotton payment yield is 1,440 pounds. If the lint yield is 800 pounds per acre, the seed cotton payment yield is 1,920 pounds. If the lint yield is 1,200 pounds per acre, the seed cotton payment yield is 2,880 pounds per acre. Here's a seed cotton PLC example using the latest estimates for the 2018-19 seed cotton marketing year average price. For this example, the farm upland cotton lint yield is 800 pounds per acre, and the seed cotton payment yield is 1,920 pounds per acre. The PLC payment is equal to 2.17 cents per pound times 1,920 pounds per acre times 85%. So the PLC payment in this example would be $35 per base acre. The maximum PLC payment rate is 11.7 cents per pound. So using a payment yield of 1,920 pounds per acre, the maximum PLC payment would be $191 per base acre. This table shows the 2018-19 PLC payment calculation for a range of payment yields based on the latest seed cotton marketing your average price estimate. The final 2018-19 seed cotton marketing your average price will be published on October 31, 2019. This table shows the 2019-20 PLC payment calculation for a range of payment yields based on the September 2019 WASD price projections. The 2019-20 marketing year began on August 1, 2019. So keep in mind that this is a very early projection of the seed cotton marketing year average price. Based on the 1920 price estimates of 58 cents per pound for lint and $157 per ton for cottonseed, projected PLC payments are much higher than for the 2018-19 marketing year. A payment matrix to estimate 2019-20 seed cotton PLC payments is also available on the NCC website. This is included in the same Excel file as the price matrix mentioned earlier. At the top of the worksheet, you can enter the lint payment yield for a particular farm. The payment matrix shows the seed cotton PLC payment for various lint and cotton seed price combinations. And again, the matrix shown here is a condensed version of the matrix available online. This slide includes examples of the seed cotton Art County payment calculation. As shown in the table at the top of the slide, the Art County benchmark price for the 2019-20 crop year is 36.7 cents per pound. Using an example benchmark county yield of 1,920 pounds per acre, the benchmark revenue is equal to $705 per acre. The Art County guarantee is equal to 86% times $705 or $606 per acre. The maximum Mark County payment in this example is $71. It's paid on 85% of base acres, so $60 per base acre. Now looking at the table on the bottom of the slide, if the actual county yield is 1,680 pounds per acre, which is below the benchmark county yield, the actual county revenue would be $493 per acre, using the 2019-20 seed cotton price estimate. The revenue loss per acre would be $113, but the ART County payment would max out at $60 per base acre. If the actual county yield is the same as the benchmark county yield of 1,920 pounds per acre, the actual county revenue would be $563 per acre. The revenue loss would be $43, so the ART County payment would be $43 times 85% or $37 per base acre. If the actual county yield is 2,040 pounds per acre, which is higher than the benchmark county yield, the actual county revenue would be $598 per acre. The revenue loss would be $8 per acre, so the ART county payment would be $8 times 85% or $7 per base acre. So this table provides a comparison of the ART county and PLC examples discussed in the earlier slides. With a below average county yield of 1,680 pounds per acre, the ART County payment would be $60 per base acre. The PLC payment based on a seed cotton payment yield of 1,920 pounds per acre would be $120 per base acre. With an average county yield of 1,920 pounds per acre, the ART County payment would be $37 per base acre, while the PLC payment would still be $120 per base acre. 
with an above average county yield of 2,040 pounds, the ART County payment would be $7 per base acre, while the PLC payment, again, would still be $120 per base acre. If the seed cotton marketing year average price is lower than 29.33 cents per pound, the ARC and PLC payments could be higher. However, the ARC County payment would max out at $60 per base acre, while the PLC payment would max out at $191 per base acre. The 2018 Farm Bill provisions do not include any changes to the seed cotton base acres and unassigned base resulting from the 2018 conversion of generic base acres. Unassigned base acres are ineligible for ARC and PLC payments. However, a key change is that other crop bases in permanent grass and pasture, or fallow, for the entire period of 2009 to 2017 will no longer be eligible for ARC PLC from 2019 to 2023. The base acres will be maintained with the Farm Service Agency. Grass or pasture acreage is eligible for the CSP Grasslands Program. The 2018 Farm Bill provisions include an option to update PLC payment yields. Owners or operators will have a one-time opportunity to update the 2018 payment yields on all crop bases on a farm-by-farm -farm and commodity-by-commodity -commodity basis. The yield update will be effective starting with the 2020-21 crop year. For cotton, the yield update is calculated by multiplying 81% of the average farm yields from 2013 to 2017. Only years that a crop was planted are included in the average. 75% of the county average yield for 2013 to 2017 will be used as a yield plug for any years where the farm's yield is below 75% of the county average yield. For the payment yield update, Owners and operators will certify to an actual yield for upland cotton that was planted on the farm for each year during 2013 to 2017. The certified yield will be reported at the farm level and must be supported by acceptable production evidence if requested by the Farm Service Agency. Acceptable evidence includes RMA yield records, NAP yield records, production data such as Gin Bell listings, warehouse receipts, CMA, DMA, LSA records, and FSA loan records. Now, while RMA records are generally a good source of yield data, keep in mind that quality losses do lower production account and result in a lower yield. The information in this slide will cover the 2018 Farm Bill provisions relating to the cotton marketing loan. The 2018 Farm Bill maintains the current upland cotton loan formula based on a two-year moving average of the AWP, but limits the annual decline to 2% of the previous year's loan rate. Based on current market expectations, marketing loan provisions may be in effect for the 2019-20 crop. An updated document on marketing loan provisions is available on the NCC website. The loan rate for ELS cotton was increased to 95 cents per pound. The maximum price trigger of the ELS competitiveness program was changed from 134% of the loan rate to 113% of the loan rate, so the adjustment does not result in the program triggering more often. I will now cover the 2018 Farm Bill provisions related to payment limits and program eligibility. The 2018 Farm Bill maintains the $125,000 limit per person or entity and continues the separate payment limit for peanuts. The $900,000 average gross income, or AGI, limit is also maintained. While actively engaged provisions remain unchanged, the 2018 Farm Bill provisions include an expanded family definition for actively engaged purposes. An eligible family operation includes nieces, nephews, and first cousins. Marketing loan gains and loan deficiency payments, or LDPs, are not included in the $125,000 payment limit. Commodity certificates for loan redemptions were maintained. The 2018 Farm Bill provisions did include a change to the application of budget sequestration to ARC and PLC payments. Budget sequestration for ARC and PLC payments will be applied before the payment limits, rather than applying the payment limit and then reducing the ARC and PLC payments for sequestration. Another important Title I cotton program is the Economic Adjustment Assistance for Textile Mills, or EAATM. 
The 2018 Farm Bill maintains the payment rate at three cents per pound and fully funds the program for the 10-year baseline period. The EAATM user agreement was updated and key requirements were clarified to strengthen program oversight, including eligible expenditures and service requirements for purchased equipment, carryover of EAATM funds and expenditures, and record keeping and pre-approvals. I will now cover the specific details of the ARC PLC election and enrollment process. The ARC PLC election for the 2019-20 crop year will also apply to the 2020-21 crop year. Producers will not be able to make a new ARC and PLC election for the 2020-21 crop year, but will still need to enroll in ARC PLC for the 2020-21 crop year. Starting with the 2021-22 crop year, and each crop year thereafter through 2023, the producers on a farm may change the election of ARC PLC on a year-to-year -year basis. The table shows the ARC and PLC election and enrollment decision for each crop year. On this slide, I'll discuss the important information regarding ARC and PLC enrollment and eligibility for stacks and the Supplemental Coverage Option, or SCO. Starting with the 2020 crop year, producers of upland cotton who choose to enroll seed cotton base acres in ARC PLC are ineligible for stacks on planted cotton acres on that farm. Annual enrollment for the ARC PLC program is required, so producers can choose not to enroll a farm in ARC or PLC for a particular year and purchase stacks. Producers can enroll other commodities on the farm in ARC or PLC and still remain eligible for stacks as long as seed cotton base acres are not enrolled in ARC and PLC. Producers who elect and enroll in PLC also have the option of purchasing SCO. Producers of covered commodities who elect ARC are ineligible for SCO on their planted acreage. This table includes the election and enrollment sign-up dates for ARC and PLC. The ARC and PLC election and enrollment for the 2019-20 crop year began on September 3rd and ends on March 15, 2020. The enrollment period for the 2020-21 crop year and the PLC payment yield update begins on October 7, 2019 and ends on June 30, 2020. Owners and operators can choose to complete all of these actions at the same time and reduce trips to the FSA office. This table includes key upcoming dates for other USDA programs. Sign up for the 2018 and 2019 WIP Plus Disaster Program began on September 11th. The seed cotton ARC and PLC payments for the 2018-19 crop year will be distributed after November 1st, 2019. The 2019 MFP payments will be dispersed in up to three tranches. Sign up for the first tranche of payments began in August. The second and third will be distributed in November 2019 and January 2020 if conditions warrant. The seed cotton ARC and PLC payments for the 2019-20 crop year will be distributed after October 1, 2020. Additional resources are available on the NCC website. We'll continue to update our Farm Bill resources as we move throughout the marketing year. An electronic version of this PowerPoint presentation is also available on our website. This concludes the webinar session, and on behalf of the National Cotton Council, we appreciate your participation. As a reminder, the content discussed in the webinar is our interpretation of the 2018 Farm Bill provisions.